Holly and a principle number one and number two focus on the end results we want to create for our communities. This one seems pretty simple, right? We accomplish what we hold ourselves accountable for. We pretty much all would know that intuitively, right? Okay. And when it comes to accountability, if you have been in, the, in community work at all, and if you've been in community work for longer than, oh, maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes, then you know that accountability rests with the board, that when we're talking accountability, we're talking about boards and governance. And, and any of you who have taken a governance class, or your board has been through training, or you've seen things on the web, we know what we're accountable for, right? We're accountable for the dollars. We're accountable for human resources. We look at standards of excellence that are out there, and we look at the 10 things every board member must do, or 12 things every board member must do, and we, we all know what we're told we're accountable for. We have fiduciary obligations. We have the duty of care, duty of loyalty. Those of you who've been through this have absolutely heard these things. When we looked at governance, here's what we found. What we're told we're accountable for is legal oversight, right? We're accountable for operational oversight, what's going on. The board is, is accountable for what the executive director is doing. And then what we've sort of come to call board mechanics. And that's just the sort of stuff of doing a board. Recruitment and orientation and setting the agenda. And really when we're taught, this is what we are taught we're accountable for. There is a piece that we are rarely taught. And that is the role of leadership. Leadership on behalf of our communities. And when we look at things like standards and lists, what we find is if we talk about leadership at all, we talk about it as make sure you've gone over your mission statement. Make sure your mission statement is still relevant. But now, the rest of it all focuses on 100,000 questions. Are you doing this? Are you doing that? Are you doing this? Here's what we found when we looked at this. What we are being encouraged to be accountable for, these right here, are the means. And that this one right here, leadership, is really all about the end results that we create for our communities. If we are asking ourselves to hold ourselves accountable for creating change in our communities, this is where it happens. But we're not taught how to do that, are we? No, we're taught about all the rest of it. And when we see things going on, how many of you got onto your boards because you love balance sheets? <laughs> Why did we get onto the boards that we're on? Make to make a difference, because we care. How much time are you spending at your board meetings talking about what you care about? Are, we, are any of you spending the vast majority of each and every board member talking about the things that you're passionate about? No, we're not, and we wonder why boards are disengaged. What we're looking at is symptoms of the fact that governance has been asking us to focus on the means and hold ourselves accountable for the means and not the ends. So if it is true that we accomplish what we hold ourselves accountable for, what does that make possible? We can hold ourselves accountable for creating significant change in our communities. We can hold ourselves accountable for the end results that we create and then within that hold ourselves accountable for the means. It doesn't negate that we are in fact accountable for the means, but first and foremost we can focus on the end results that are the most important. In the Pollyanna Principles, we show a case study, a very long case study, going through step by step of how a board can transform itself to really hold itself accountable for the end results that they want to achieve and accountable for the means. But one of the things that we ask boards all the time is if your organization survives and is strong, and the community is no better off, is that success. We focus so much on this. Is it success if the community is no better off? So if what we're going to be looking at is holding ourselves accountable for the end results, how do we do that? How do we aim at that success? That brings us to Pollyanna principle number two. <laughs> 